Oh, so you you're going to be driving the Cybertruck during winter? That's the plan. Of course. You yeah, got fourteen point two on the Cybertruck. Yeah. How is it? Yeah, doing? both my cars. Of course. Excuse me, royalty. <laughs> Not <laughs> really. Lucky. How is it? How is it going on both? Good. I, you know, it it uh, it is driving very well. It, 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 there's just some weird. Uh, they still got to work through parking lots and 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 some mapping issues. Um, I think, I think that is like those are the things like, like the final thing that they've got to, they've got to figure out. Obviously, and maybe reasoning is part of that with with fourteen three. But uh, if, I mean, if, if there's an issue, it's it's still. You know, getting out of parking lots, and then there's some you know mapping issues in terms of you know, going the right direction. But again, those are those are limited. And everything else is dramatically improved. What do you guys think is uh, the last piece of the puzzle? Elon said fourteen point three, last piece of the puzzle. Well, that I mean, parking lots, yeah, is one yeah, thing. And, and uh, I don't know whether you read Joe Techmeyer's post. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be some mismatches of mapping issues that are less of Tesla's issue, but obviously have to be dealt with. I mean, here in California, I took it twice this morning. It was just perfect. There was construction in our street, which was really confusing, dealt perfectly with it, very safe, very assertive. And then my first appointment, my chiropractor, is up in the mountains, a very windy road. I've taken FSD on that. It's not really that far, but it's going ups and downs, it's shady and little little curves and I, really not very pleasant. And as soon as you have somebody walking there and there are lots of people walking their dogs up there, um, you you have half the road is blocked. And uh, so usually so I did use it version 13, but I felt very uneasy when I let it go completely by itself. And then I was always on, on the supervisory side. And uh, and often intervened this morning, smooth, mm -hmm. slow when it had to slow down, prudent when it had to be prudent, but very assertive for the rest. I mean, not a second where I had the feeling I should take over, felt completely safe, probably safer than what I could have done. So that was a huge improvement. And the first one where I really feel it was a step change. And then the, the, the way back was perfect as well. And my second drive with it were typical drives that I do all the time. It was absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. You know, not one hesitation, but it's still going nose first into my driveway, which is not what I want. I wanted to go uh, backing into it. Doesn't do that. So that's, you know, little things, but I mean, nothing, nothing major. So what's the chances that this last piece of the puzzle, I saw this guy pitch it saying that the last piece of the puzzle could actually be this ability for you to give it directions like rock. You'd say, actually, can you please continue driving the driveway? Go, you know, back into my garage or any, you know, don't park here, park further down the street. What's the chances that that is? Integrating the rock in the no, short term? I mean, no. it's integrated, right? But you can just ask it questions. But this idea that, yeah, integrating it to be able to direct it because we know that the system is built such that you could actually interact with it. That is what they're doing at this point. So I'm wondering if that is the last piece of the puzzle. I honestly don't think that's close in time. I mean, I wish, yeah, but I, I honestly don't think an interaction between the car and Grok is, is close in time. It is, though, the, the thing that makes the most sense because everything else like uh, Banish and, you know, finding parking spots and being able to do these, you know, we solved the leaf issue that was solved, but then up comes other problems, um, you know, those are little nines that need to be addressed. That doesn't seem to be the last piece of the puzzle. I don't think that, you know, we need that to get to unsupervised. I don't think that at all. And if you discuss with Croc, not that I, you oh, know, my point. my love-hate mm -hmm. relationship with, with Croc, um, when you discuss with Croc in the car, whether it will ever have access to the commands of the car, they obviously configured it so that it says, no, 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 that's not the goal. I'm here to entertain you. I'm here to mm -hmm. answer your questions, whatever. Um, so I don't know, you know, how far that is, but I don't see at all how important that would be to get to 
fully unsupervised. unsupervised. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense, actually. Unsupervised FSC is probably the main goal right now. And so you guys saw that there was code in uh, Green. The only found some code in software, Tesla software, saying that uh, there's these um, Bay Area, these geofenced areas that is set, it's actually called unsupervised FSD, California DMV. So it sounds like they're either testing it or they're trying to get approval. Um, that seems incredibly promising that they're actually probably already testing or getting approval from DMV that uh, for certain situations they can call it unsupervised. You can, you know, text while you're driving. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Tesla, I think the key thing is, you know, te what, te what is Tesla seeing? What is, what is the engineering team and, Elon seen, and it's my guess that they are they've seen 14.2 like performance in September. I even think Elon referenced the release, um, you know, early on a couple months ago. And so, you know, obviously they clearly have information about where this is going and 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 how they see this working out. And I'm wondering what they're seeing now for the next couple of months. And that to me, that's, I, I think that, and then all the requisition postings are all kind of tied in together. And th that relationship to me is very interesting. So is Tesla, they obviously have, they're obviously cooking 14.3 and, you know, they have something that's in some level of quality performance, some, you know, some bug status with that release. And I'm wondering if, you know, what they see beyond that. I do think that Grok integration uh, needs to be on the roadmap. I think they just have to be very careful about what they allow Grok to do. Cause I can imagine being in a robo taxi and just saying, Hey, look, uh, you know, can you slow down? Um, I'm just coming out of the hospital or something. I don't want to be you know, driven like, you know, a crazy person or can you speed up i'm late for a meeting but don't break any laws or whatever things like that um i i could see that i can see like or, or just commenting on the destination and and saying you know there's two entrances uh pulling you know let's not this one let's go to the next one that that kind of so i could see that happening but for 14.3 i just think it's it's going to be about reasoning and knowing the business address or location and and understanding the difference between a handicapped spot and a non-handicapped spot and just finding you the, the the closest parking spot i think those are are some of the things that you know be able to do so uh, that that to me is the big thing and then just all the requisitions being posted all over the world uh i i mean this is this is pure information pure alpha and, and and you have to understand the company. The com this is not a company that just spends, um, you know, whatever they want. This is a company that watches every penny uh, from a below gross margin uh, spending, you know, b before pro production launch. So I I I I think the requisitions are huge about some information. I think some of Elon's posts are huge information about the timeline of, of FSD. And I think if you put those two together, you kind of see what what they're thinking and how confident they are in this. And, and it, it, I, there, there's just information here, I think that's not being fully responded to yet by the market. Mm -hmm. Uh, that would be very cool if you can actually interact with the car through Grok. Uh, but yeah, I think all three of us are not expecting it to be the last piece of the puzzle. Um, welcome, Omar. We were just asking the question: What did Elon? Um, what did, What do you think Elon meant when he said fourteen point three is going to be the last piece of the puzzle, and that unsupervised FSD looks like it's coming through the code that was discovered? Yeah, you know. 14.2 is rolling out now. It's pretty amazing in my experience. It's 14, all the intelligence of 14, but really up to the smoothness level of 13. And um, pretty much everybody, I think, will probably get that this week. It's already, I think, the major version. 
But despite how well it's performing, including on Cybertruck, there's a really exciting roadmap up ahead. There are several major improvements, foundational improvements that are going to make FSD a lot smarter. One of the top ones that I'm looking forward to that Asha kind of outlined in his recent tech talk is the reasoning. So you've probably seen kind of like the thinking modes on LLMs. Imagine that happening locally on the car. That's what FSD reasoning is. And it should be able to pick much better parking spots and handle certain things like complex signs uh, much better than we've seen before. That's kind of the thing where they asked the car why it made the decision and it was actually able to explain it. So that's a pretty important foundational improvement that's going to make the car a lot smarter. Another thing is the 10x model scaling. And, um, you know, there's still a few pieces like uh, Banish, for example, that maybe he was referring to. Mm. But I think architecturally, the larger model and the reasoning are going to be the most important foundational improvements. And right now they're doing, you know, I, I think at least several thousand miles per intervention. With the reasoning, I think... Um, it's it's just going to be performing probably better than we can imagine right now. What's your thinking of uh, how likely is unsupervised FSD coming, given that we saw the code showing that there's geographies already, potentially that they're asking or trying to get approval from DMV for that? Yeah, we have seen Tesla apply in several states, including Arizona and Nevada. No, no, unsupervised FSD. Yeah, I mean, they've been applying for, you know, unsupervised FSD. Um, in other states. So going through the permitting process in each of those respective states. And I expect that we're going to see them do the same in California. It was interesting that that geofence in the code referenced the California DMV. So I would imagine we're probably going to start seeing permits pretty soon for um, the next stages getting into you know fully autonomous rideshare in California. I think they'll probably launch in Austin first and then follow up in California and other markets as soon as permits permit them to do that. Okay. And then are you guys feeling pretty good about 14.2? There seemed to be a little bit of a reg regression on the nav navigation, but uh, I think Mike, there's a Mike P who had a really good post. I thought that he was saying, you know, look, the car is very safe now. That's uh, priority one. And all these things that are still there are tiny uh, but Elon did say that this uh, upgrade to 14.2 was a very big uh, jump. It wasn't a minor update. And then 14.3 is also going to be another major jump. So you, you're thinking it's going to be the 10x in parameters, much better reasoning, and we'll see that. And then are you guys thinking 14.3 is uh, the one that they will start testing out unsupervised FSD? Or is it going to be a, further, a, a, a release later? I think we could probably see them start to remove the safety monitors with 14.2 or 14.2. something. I think we're probably going to see, you know, 14.2.1 and 14.2.2 to fix maybe some of the issues people are seeing, but it looks to be a pretty stable release. 14.3 and 14.4 will obviously be better, but um at this point I think the safety is is there. Um, it can react very fast. It can see everything a human can see and more, often spotting things earlier than the human can. I'm sure a lot of us have experienced this. So as soon as they validate it, you know, see if you can go a month or so without any interventions from the human safety monitor. And if you can do that, then, well, there's no reason for them to be in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 14.2, you think it'll be able to take care of that. Okay, and then uh, did you guys see Hardware 3 FSD might actually be incoming? I mean, uh, the, the, you know, the, there was a job posting that said, let's, we need to take these large models and make them smaller models. But also, uh, a friend of mine spoke to Ashok um, when he, at the shareholder meeting, and he, Ashok told him that Hardware 3 that will be capable of robotaxi. And I thought that was the best statement I've ever heard. Uh, coming, you know, from directly from them saying that, no, no, not only is Harbor 3 going to get FSD, it's going to be the kind of FSD that you can actually use for RoboTaxi. Um, 
and then I don't know, it just started to, uh, there was something else I'm forgetting that happened that made it pos possibly that a hardware three FSD could come sooner than I thought. I, I've been saying previously that I don't expect it until second half of next year. But now it's like, it might come sooner. You guys uh, expect that that might be the case? Well, it's four million cars. They're gonna we're gonna work. They're gonna work on it. it there's uh, there's a consumer issue, and Tesla likes driving high consumer satisfaction, high uh, net promoter score, and it's clear. And there's an economics issue. You don't you know there's four million cars, uh, roughly, that have hardware three by all estimates. So yeah, I they need to do this anyway. They need to hire people to continue to refine and improve model size and efficiency anyway because they're going to need it for optimus they're going to need it for anything that they're doing so th this is a continual they're, they're going to want somebody to improve hard models on hardware four too right, uh yeah. so anyway it, it, i think james dalma posted That's about right. this too um so i, I just I, the the business it's it, they can't avoid. I mean, the four million cars. So yeah, it's going to happen. But before next year, or, or not? We don't. Have I, to I don't know. I can't speak to their engineering yeah. timelines. I just, yeah. I just can't imagine that they wouldn't be focused on it. And it's nice to see their requisitions. Not that they weren't focused on it without their requisitions, but it's probably like, hey, we probably need more. You know, we probably need to put more behind this. You a, a accelerated or B, you've got other stuff going on too that we're ramping up. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think you should push for hoping for an earlier date, Herbert. Yeah. I don't think this is a small problem. And whenever, because I've accumulated all the snippets we had in earnings calls from mm -hmm. both Wayback and and um and Elon, whenever this subject came up, it was like it will be done once we feel FSD is solved. It's next on the list. And then when it's done, it will take, you know, it's not an easy thing. It's not hiring one person and uh, and the solution will be the next day. So, you know, I, I feel for the FSD um, hardware three people, but it's, um, it's going to take some time. It's great that they're tackling it now. That's probably a little bit earlier than we'd hoped for, but I don't think that means it will come out very soon.